on the front line regarding the $150 million Randall and Dam project was the water usage forecast that was used to justify the project a result of an outsourced study. In your opinion, was the forecast accurate or overstated? And since the $150 million investment is now operational, will the citizens of Greensboro benefit from lower water rates? That was a project that was studied to death. Um, I can't tell you how many different uh, environmental impact statements that we had to do for both the state and federal government. Projections were made, This remember this started back in the 80s, projections were made on the amount of water need in the, while the process was going on. Of course, we lost uh, one of our big water users to the textile industry. So, you know, I would say that those projections were maybe off by you know, the loss of some industry here. But the good news is, is that while that's projected to have a 50 year life expectancy, it may give us a longer life expectancy. So it, it doesn't bother me that possibly some of those projections were off. Why do you want to become mayor and what do you hope to accomplish in your first term? I want to become mayor again because I want to bring a fresh new voice to Greensboro's politics. I think we cannot keep doing the same things we've been doing and expect good results. There is disunity within the city council. We need to have unity. That's why I want to be mayor. And what I hope to accomplish if I'm elected is two things. Number one, again, is to bring a spirit of unity to Greensboro's political system. And again, creating jobs and building our infrastructure and economic growth. All right, question number two. Councilman Perkins, the Coliseum has been a controversial topic for well over a decade. Losses over the past 16 consecutive years are over $30 million. Those are the same years that you have served on the council. Seeing that other cities like Raleigh, Durham, Charlotte have large entertainment venues operated by private companies, and those same cities realize revenues from those private companies, does it make sense for the city of Greensboro to be in the entertainment business, especially since we continue to lose close to $2 million a year? You know, it's interesting how that question is posited, because I look at, this, at the billion dollar uh, tourism business in Guilford County as a huge community asset. And the centerpiece of that business is the Greensboro Coliseum. So the million and a half dollars that we are giving the Coliseum out of the general fund each year is a small part of the many millions and tens of millions that we bring in through that facility to the benefit of all of our citizens. I contend that the tourism business, the hotel business, and the restaurant business, it would not be close to the same in our city without the Coliseum driving that business. I would also think that if you look at the bottom line at the Greensboro Coliseum, it's been very effectively run and effectively managed. I was on the minority end of a vote to privatize that facility in the 1990s. But since we couldn't get it privatized, we decided to run it as best we could as a city facility. The only way to rid ourselves of the Coliseum is to set up an authority. But that authority has to have revenues to subsidize the facility. You look at coliseums nationally, and without anchor tenants such as professional hockey teams and professional basketball teams taking a large majority of the, of the nights each year, they lose money. So we're providing a huge service for this community, driving the tourism business in this community, and providing an entertainment option for those that live here at the Greensboro Coliseum. So I don't see those losses at all, Mr. Cash. Mayor Knight, the city of Greensboro is governed by a council manager form of government where the council sets and directs policy regarding the operations of the city and the city manager is responsible for the execution of council policy. One of your opponents has referred to the city as being micromanaged. Could you, could you please explain your position on those comments? Um, I don't know who said that, but I would disagree. Um, for those of you who don't know, the council manager form is a fairly prevalent form of city government uh, where you have, a city, you have a, uh, a city council and you have a city manager such as we do. The city of Greensboro has, uh, the city council has 
one now two employees we have the city manager who is our employee and then now we now have a city attorney but the city manager in turn has about 3,000 employees who work for him um, the city council makes policy the manager is charged with enacting those policies and probably the one one of the biggest is in the area of budgets the manager is responsible for creating the agendas for our meetings you know we have meetings with upwards of 50 or 51 agenda items and this the council is not involved in the in developing that agenda that is something done by the manager um, he directs the department heads uh, and departments council does not he has a results driven management system developed by the manager we do not get involved in that we work through and I certainly work through the city manager and um, and I think that's the way it should be I think it's very it's a very simple system but it works very very well and I'm pleased with it. and your second question mr. Cohen um, you're obviously new to the political arena um, as mayor you only have one vote on council the same single vote just like any other council member how will you lead the council to draw consensus and to support your ideas? Well, I will uh, strive to make it so that there's not the factions that are today. Um, with my vote, uh, the city council will be fairly close, so I will not be vote. I will vote against proposals that are simply being pushed through by one faction without adequate discussion. Uh, we need to work together on this, and I will use my vote to try to keep uh, dialogue going and uh, build a consensus.